Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a nice summer. So the gist of these last couple weeks has been a little annoying. I basically had to make up for the weight that I gained back on my birthday. When I last saw you guys, I had weighed the night previously and on my birthday I was 321 pounds. I kind of knew I would end up gaining some weight back. I didn't know how much, but I did overeat when it came to the sweets and I did have maybe a little bit too many carbs that I should have. And so I kind of ballooned all the way back to 330. So for the last two weeks, my goal has just been to get myself back to where I was on the 28th. So last week was the 7th. I weighed 324. I had gone down about 6 pounds, which wasn't surprising just because I knew a lot of that weight that I had gained back from me eating on my birthday was a lot of water weight and things like that. Today is the 14th of July and I weigh 320 pounds. So I'm back down to where I was two weeks ago. You know, and that's the really uh, annoying thing about losing weight, and especially when you're at the point where I'm at. Your body's really sensitive, and so when you're in those stages of going down, it's really easy to have a bad day, mess up. Either it's a holiday, or you're just feeling depressed or stressed out, and you go to food because that's what you've trained yourself to do. Oh, it gets discouraging, but I was kind of prepared. I knew that it was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna end up gaining a little bit of weight, but it was just something fun to do. And I wasn't too concerned about it. I feel like I've kind of learned to embrace the process of weight loss. When you're losing weight, you have to internalize the fact that things aren't going to go as fast as you want them to. Life is going to throw hurdles at you. You're going to have instances where it's not always going to work out for your eating plans, where you're going to have weaknesses, where you're going to, you know, fall victim to the same habits that you've been playing out for the last, like, however many years you've been overweight. I'm just trying to embrace that feeling more and just learning to go with the punches because that's, I think that's the difference between a diet and an actual lifestyle change. But I'm still really hopeful. I am glad I'm back at down to 320. You know, honestly, I'm kind of surprised too because this last week I didn't really do the best. Like I make it a goal to fast every other day and this week I could not fast one day. I would have like, I don't know, I'd get to like two or three o'clock in the afternoon and I'd just be hungry. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna have a small portion of what my family's cooking. And then yesterday, yesterday was horrible. I was so worried because <laughs> I should have taken a picture of it because it looks absolutely, it looked so delicious. But yesterday, my sister had made banana bread with chocolate chips and pecans, and it looked so good, and I had been fighting it all day, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna have one. And before I knew it, I had grabbed two slices. By the end of the day, I had four slices. They weren't big slices, but it still made me feel guilty, and I was really worried, but luckily, I... I don't know why, but I didn't end up gaining weight. So between last Wednesday and this Wednesday, I ended up losing four pounds. So that's that's something. I think that's good news. But yeah, the last two weeks were just me being depressed again. The stage that I'm at in weight loss is so hard because I've already lost 60 pounds and I'm still really overweight. And you know, if somebody looked at me, they wouldn't think, oh, she's trying to be healthy. Oh, she's losing weight. They would think, wow, she's really out of shape. And I am, but it's just like, I actually was talking to my younger sister about this just the other day and she was telling me that, she, oh, she only has like 50 or 60 pounds to lose and so it's a lot easier for her to lose her weight than it is for me to lose my weight. And I told her that it doesn't really matter how much weight you have to lose. Losing weight is hard, no matter if it's 50 pounds or 250 pounds. And I think the only big difference between people like me who are really overweight and people like my sister who have a small amount of weight to lose is that you get more satisfaction when you have less to lose. Because like for me, I lose 60 pounds and I'm still fat. But for my little sister, if she lost 50 pounds, I mean, she'd be in excellent shape and people would notice. I think in that way, losing a larger amount of weight is hard because you don't get that gratification when you're losing your weight until you hit a really big number. And it's really hard because you have to figure out how to stay emotionally motivated to sustain yourself through this weight loss and so that's difficult and it's so easy to get discouraged and I think people really underestimate that. Most people who have to lose a lot of weight it takes several years to get down to a good size and even then they have to work really hard to maintain it. It's not an easy simple thing. I'm not very comfortable with vlogging outside of like 
my home unit yet. I need to get better at it. But today we went to Home Depot. It was raining today. It was really nice. It was really refreshing. I live in uh, the Phoenix area in Arizona. And so rain is so rare. And it was so nice to be able to have some cool, refreshing weather. And so we drove off to Home Depot and we got some seeds. We've been talking about planting a little garden and we want to grow our own um, herbs and, you know, a few vegetables and stuff. And so next week i'll probably show you guys a little bit of that because we're going to be using a lot of like our old bottles and stuff and we're going to recycle them into little plant pots and plant those with my younger siblings i also want to show you guys one of the main meals that i've been relying on i don't really change up my meals that much unless i see something that my family has made that seems pretty decent that, that isn't super carb heavy the second i feel like the second i start overeating not even overeating if i just incorporate a decent amount of carbs and sugars at this point in my weight loss it will stop me from losing any weight i i just will not go down i won't gain a whole lot of weight as long as i'm careful but i i will not not lose weight and so I have to just really be careful and cut that out but yeah nothing too crazy or exciting going on this week I hope you guys had a nice fourth of July I can't believe the summer is coming like what we only have two more months and then the summer's over it's already gone so fast I can't believe it although I'm really looking forward to it because the summer here in Arizona is so hot I'm just so ready for the fall when things get cooler I hope you guys have a really good next week and don't let the humps bring you down you know, keep pushing through. Every day you can start fresh. Every day is a new day to start your weight loss and get going. When I look back on how many times I've told myself that, oh, I'll put it off till tomorrow and looking back, like I could have already lost my weight by now if I would have just started that day, slowly incorporate better decisions in my life. I would have already lost most of my weight. I would have been in a way better weight right now. So just keep chugging along. It is hard. It is not easy, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it because I feel like I've had the worst self-esteem and the worst luck so anyway i hope all of you out there are doing well and i'll see you next wednesday and i'll see you next wednesday